job when I first moved here. I really needed money and I didn't want to let my parents down, so I was like, right, I have to do something. Just for quick cash. Lots of my friends do it. And yeah, my friend told me about it, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. You know, like, what have I got to lose? It's a win-win, I guess. a sugar baby for about a month and a half. You have your sugar daddies, they have the money, and then you have your sugar babies, and they want the money. Currently studying law, Long but loves to have a bit of fun when I'm not having books version. in the library. I'm making my I'm way a woman who knows what she wants. I desire the benefit of someone kind and generous. Needing a caring sugar daddy to take and care of me. wanting financial aid while I'm studying in exchange for my time. And I will be a good sugar baby. I would go out for dinner with him twice a week and he would pay me. I was getting paid 600 to 800 a week. I liked him as a person. He was lovely. They would pay for my rent, travel insurance, tyres on my car, putting gas in my car, and I don't give them sex. I don't sleep with people. This isn't prostitution. Some of the men on there are married. One is married and he has two kids. After a while, I did kind of realise how self-degrading it was to, like, go out with someone to earn money. I don't know. I'm just not really like that. ever tell my parents. They probably wouldn't talk to me for a while. The double standard is that it's my fault for meddling in someone's life, but it's equally his. He's the one who's married. He's the one who has the responsibility to honour the vows that he made. Both parties consent and, you know, you treat it like a job. It's more than I'm earning now. I would challenge people to try accepting people for who they are instead of judging them for what you want them to be. Mm -hmm.